the main message from the government is that uh, we should be able to facilitate and be facilitated have the refugees return into Rwanda other than push them back again to the camps. One of the reasons, therefore, is to be able to, to, to make the UN agencies, the humanitarian agencies, get in touch with whoever is in charge there and facilitate the return. This is what we are looking for. Gauging from the sound of war, looking at uh, the movement, I think they are not uh, in charge of most of the parts of Goma and the airport. I don't know where they, they could be. I, I, I have said I don't want to speculate on the role of the French. Why don't you, you talk to the French and see what is bringing them here? I don't see any reason why they should intervene. In any case, when they do, they will have to get that either from Zail or from the people who are in charge in Goma. So the priority would be to handle the, the suffering of the refugees. I'm sure we shall have some time to be able to, to separate. We have always said criminals have to be brought to justice. So we shall certainly in time be able to to make a difference between the criminals and those who are innocent. Well, I just came here to tell you that uh, we have no interest in uh, going to Zaire and that uh, our forces are limited to the side of our border and that uh, not at any time did we cross the border with Zaire. The people are dying right now. Uh, the people in Uvira have been without food and water and shelter for, for two weeks or more. Um, and many of them probably had to flee the camps uh, without taking with them whatever food they could carry. We know that some, in some cases they were able to take with them food or pillage stalks uh, in the camps, but it's, it's very likely that people are dying right now.